Guys, Indonesian President Widodo has just inaugurated an awe-inspiring high-speed railway project with a staggering budget of $7.3 billion. This remarkable endeavor aims to connect the nation's capital with the vibrant city of Bandung. And that's not all, yes, because this train is also the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. In this video, we're going to uncover all you need to know about the Woosh train, including the initial plans, its features, and its significance to understand the magnitude of this great infrastructural project. The idea for a high-speed railway project in Indonesia began to take shape in the early 2010s. The goal was to create a modern and efficient mode of transportation that would significantly reduce travel time between Jakarta and Bandung. The project aimed to provide a swift and reliable means of commuting easing the burden of traffic congestion and contributing to environmental sustainability. Indonesian President Joko Widodo, commonly known as Jokowi, played a pivotal role in pushing this ambitious initiative forward. The initial plans for the high-speed railway project were ambitious. The vision was to create a state-of-the-art transportation network that would not only connect Jakarta and Bandung, but also serve as a major component of China's Belt and Road Initiative. The Belt and Road Initiative, proposed by China, is a massive infrastructure and economic development project that seeks to enhance connectivity and cooperation between countries along the ancient Silk Road routes. The proposed railway was set to be Southeast Asia's fastest, with trains capable of reaching speeds of up to 350 km per hour. This level of speed and efficiency would revolutionize travel between the two cities. President Widodo emphasized the environmental friendliness of the project, highlighting the significance of a modern, sustainable transportation system in a country grappling with traffic congestion and pollution. However, the path to realizing this high-speed railway project was far from smooth. The project faced a series of challenges and changes that delayed its launch and increased its overall cost. Land acquisition was a major hurdle in the development of the high-speed railway project. Getting the land needed for building the railway turned out to be quite difficult. Local communities and landowners were not very keen on giving up their land. This resistance created a lot of problems. Disagreements about how much people should be compensated and who had the right to use the land led to significant delays in the project's schedule. It was a tough challenge to overcome. The project was also delayed due to environmental factors. Before moving forward, a thorough environmental impact assessment was necessary. This assessment aimed to understand how the railway might affect the ecosystem in the area. It was crucial to ensure that the construction and operation of the railway would be environmentally responsible. This part of the project required extra time and resources because it involved careful study and planning. Experts needed to examine how the high-speed railway could impact local wildlife, air quality, water resources and more. They also had to consider how to minimize any negative effects. The emergence of the global COVID-19 pandemic in late 2019 added another layer of complexity to the project, causing significant disruptions. This unforeseen health crisis had a ripple effect on the railway's development, leading to multiple challenges. One of the immediate impacts was work stoppages. As the virus began to spread, concerns for the safety of the workforce necessitated pauses in construction activities. Workers' health and well-being took precedence and this led to interruptions in the project's timeline. Moreover, the pandemic disrupted supply chains, making it difficult to obtain the necessary materials and equipment. Transportation of goods became more challenging due to lockdowns, restrictions and health protocols. This supply chain disruption further delayed the construction process. Uncertainties about the future were a pervasive issue during the pandemic. The evolving nature of the virus and the measures taken to control its spread created an atmosphere of unpredictability. This uncertainty affected project planning and decision-making, making it difficult to set concrete timelines and goals. The cumulative impact of these disruptions led to a substantial increase in the project's estimated cost. The initial budget of around $4.3 billion surged to a staggering $7.3 billion. This cost escalation was a direct reflection of the difficulties and complexities encountered when dealing with a project of this magnitude in the face of unexpected challenges. The need to address health and safety concerns, adapt to disrupted supply chains, and navigate the uncertainties brought about by the pandemic all required additional resources and efforts. 
The increased cost underscored the resilience and determination needed to bring such a colossal infrastructure project to fruition despite the unprecedented hurdles posed by the global health crisis. Now let's look at some of the outstanding features of this train. The high-speed trains, sometimes referred to as bullet trains or whoosh trains, play a central role in this project. These trains are engineered to achieve remarkable speeds of up to 350 km per hour, establishing them as the fastest mode of transportation in Southeast Asia. The introduction of high-speed rail holds the potential for several substantial benefits. One of the most compelling features of these high-speed trains is their ability to drastically reduce travel time. The journey between Jakarta and Bandung, which used to take three hours by conventional means, will be shortened to just 40 minutes. This time-saving benefit is expected to enhance productivity, connectivity and the overall quality of life for commuters. President Widodo has placed significant emphasis on the economic benefits of the project, highlighting its potential to create substantial financial advantages. Projections suggest that the high-speed railway will generate annual savings exceeding $6.5 billion. The primary source of these savings stems from its capacity to mitigate traffic congestion in the densely populated areas of Jakarta and Bandung. By offering a swift and efficient alternative to road travel, the high-speed railway is expected to unclog major transportation arteries and alleviate the burdensome traffic that has long plagued these regions. This reduction in traffic congestion is not just a matter of convenience, it holds the promise of substantial economic growth. With improved transportation links, the movement of goods and people will become more efficient, resulting in increased economic activities, trade and tourism in the area. Businesses can transport their products more swiftly and at a lower cost, while tourists can easily explore the attractions of both cities. The high-speed railway, by enabling smoother, more accessible connectivity, has the potential to stimulate the local and regional economy, creating jobs and bolstering prosperity. Furthermore, the project's unwavering commitment to environmentally friendly transportation aligns with global efforts to curb carbon emissions and advance sustainable development. High-speed trains, like those envisioned for this railway, are generally recognized for their exceptional energy efficiency and relatively low greenhouse gas emissions compared to other modes of transportation. This eco-conscious approach not only improves the quality of life for those residing near the railway, but also contributes to a greener, more sustainable future. By embracing the principles of sustainable development and prioritizing eco-friendly transportation, the High Speed Railway project sets a commendable example for others around the world. It showcases the integration of modern, efficient travel with environmental responsibility, promoting a balanced approach to infrastructure development that benefits both present and future generations. In doing so, it aligns with global initiatives and aspirations to reduce the environmental footprint of transportation systems and promote more sustainable ways of living and moving. The high-speed railway will not only connect Jakarta and Bandung, but also serve as a vital link in the larger Belt and Road Initiative. This connectivity has the potential to open up new trade routes, improve regional cooperation and bring economic growth to the areas served by the railway. The construction of the high-speed railway has also led to significant infrastructure development in the region. This includes the building of stations, tracks and associated facilities, which have generated jobs and spurred local economic activity. The completion of the high-speed railway project is expected to have a profound impact on the region and beyond. It signifies a major step forward in Indonesia's infrastructure development and modernization. The improved transportation connectivity has the potential to reshape the dynamics of the Jakarta-Bandung corridor and enhance the overall quality of life for residents and businesses in the area. In the broader context, the project's inclusion as a part of China's Belt and Road Initiative underscores the growing influence of China in global infrastructure development. It also reflects the collaborative efforts between China and Indonesia in fostering economic ties and regional integration. The high-speed railway serves as a testament to the vision of a connected world with efficient transportation systems that can drive economic growth. As the project continues to progress, free trial rides on the bullet train have already been underway since the second week of September. These trial runs are a critical step in testing the railway's safety and operational efficiency. 
Furthermore, the extension of these trials and the implementation of ticket prices in mid-October mark important milestones in the project's development. The successful launch and operation of the high-speed railway will be a significant achievement for Indonesia and a testament to the nation's commitment to modernizing its transportation infrastructure. It will also be a remarkable showcase of China's expertise in high-speed rail technology and its contribution to global connectivity. This ambitious project reflects a shared vision of global connectivity and economic development as Indonesia and China collaborate to make this transformative infrastructure a reality. The successful completion and operation of the high-speed railway will not only benefit the residents of Jakarta and Bandung, but also stand as a symbol of what can be achieved through determination and international cooperation in the realm of infrastructure development. So guys, what do you think about this new development? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more.